I'm Kylie from Freedom Vans and I'm here today to show you our latest project. This is a Mercedes Sprinter van 2019 four-wheel drive 170 wheelbase. That's their medium wheelbase. It's not the 144 shorter or 170 extended, but the 170. More to handle than the 144, but it'll still fit in your standard parking spot. This build particularly was one of my favorite builds to work on because when they approached us, they wanted to build a van that really focused on the divine feminine, including sacred geometry into this build. When they approached us, as they were talking about their build, I actually thought about my friend Abby. She knows a lot about sacred geometry and I thought she would be the perfect person to help me on this design. And coincidentally, she is now our van designer and it just worked out that she was the designer on the build. Let's go ahead and give you a tour of the van. We'll start with the exterior. On the exterior of the van, we don't have too many mods. Um, we did upgrade the wheels and tires. We upgraded the wheels to Relation Race Wheels, which we are now carrying. If you would like to order some, just go ahead and send us an email. We paired these with the Michelin Cross Climate tires, and those are a great tire um, for all climates, but also um, it'll be nice and quiet on the highway. We added an electric step. The 2019 Sprinter is a little bit tricky to install the electric step because Amp Research hasn't come up with a solution for the 2019. There is a company that um, has a bracket and electrical package modification that allows you to install these on the 2019, but you have to purchase the step directly from them. We also have a Fiamma awning. As far as roof layout for this van goes, we did add a great skylight that opens up and allows you to go onto the top of the van. We have three 160 watt Renogy solar panels on top of this van, so that's 480 watts of solar, which will make a great solar roof deck to hang out on. And we have our Max Air exhaust fan. So here we go, the garage space, the space that we love in these vans because it's so great for storage. We did something a little bit different in this van. This bed platform actually has two places where it can mount. There is this spot where you can fit bikes underneath the bed, it's at 36 inches high. And then there's another lower spot at 30 inches where you can also mount the bed platform if you aren't carrying as much and would like more headspace above the bed. In the back here we have our outdoor shower and then our hose down kit also uses the same spot the outdoor shower does. We have our water fill right here. This van has a 30 gallon fresh water tank and a four gallon hot water heater. Over here we have their electrical system. This van has a 200 amp hour lithium battery bank. We also do have a roof mount AC unit so I would typically recommend um, going with more battery power. This particular client is going to see how it goes for them and then consider adding a battery or two later down the line. They also have a 2000 watt Renogy inverter. Let's head inside the van. I'm so excited to show you all the inside of this van because it is one, so beautiful, but two, has so many great functions. So let's go ahead and start with the kitchen space. Like I said before, we really wanted to incorporate the divine feminine, so the curves and sacred geometry. So this kitchen, actually the drawers are at an angle here, which I think is super cool. We have a nice large stainless steel sink with the professional faucet. And then they have a three stage water filtration system as well. On the end of the kitchen galley, we do have a flip up countertop, which will give them a nice large countertop space. 
They also have a sink cover here that gives them some additional counter space as well. Over here, we added these little altar shelves. The idea is that they'll create their own little altar space so they can put their stones, um, plants, whatever feels sacred to them. On the other side of the van, we have their stove top. So we have a two burner propane stove top. We have their DC refrigerator, and this does have a separate freezer space. On the end here, we have a flip up desk. With all of the COVID-19 stuff going on, this client needed to get their van a little bit sooner. There are a lot of travel restrictions being put in place for good reason right now. And we didn't have time to wait for the captain's chair. This is for a family of three. They have a newborn daughter. So they are going to have a captain's chair right here that they'll have installed later. The idea is that this will serve for a little desk on the room. On the floor over here, we have the air filter. So the air filter pulls cool air from underneath the van and that will bring air into this space and the exhaust fan pulls that air through the space. Above the stove top here, we have their sound bar. This is a great way to be able to play Bluetooth music without spending the money that you would need to spend to upgrade your entire stereo system. These just play really loud, great quality music. In the middle of the van, we have their dining area. This also doubles as a second bed. Abby had a lot of fun with this design, creating a nice half hexagon shape with the dining area, and then a hexagon shaped table for them all to sit at. Another really cool feature about this dining space is that over here, it has a flip door that allows them to extend their storage so that they can fit long skis. In the very back of the van, they have their queen size bed. They have a shelf over the foot area of the bed, their exhaust fan, and then this giant skylight or moonroof that they'll be able to look out at stars at night or get some nice sunshine in the morning. They opted to sleep side to side. So we did indent into the panels a bit. They have about five foot 10 of sleeping space with the indents, which works for them. And then width wise, they have a queen sized bed. In the middle of the van, we have the most epic light fixture that we've ever put into a van. This was a custom made flower of life light that was made by our client's friend. We will go ahead and put the link to his website down below. This light changes colors and it is just a gorgeous feature of this van and I think it really speaks for itself. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you loved this van as much as we did, um, let us know in the comments and we will see you for the next van tour. Ciao! I hope you enjoyed that content. Um, if you hadn't noticed, we do have an ebook that we sell, uh, and the link is just in the description. Uh, it contains 160 pages crammed full of practical advice, walkthrough information, electronic schematics, and part lists, which will make your job a lot easier for doing a van conversion and it will save you time and money. Also, we've created special videos for the ebook which enable you to see walkthroughs for how to do loads of things in a van conversion. So that's for water systems, for your electrics, for how to do simple woodwork joints that anyone can do. And I really believe that anyone, regardless of their experience, can make a half decent van conversion. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate you watching our content and we put a lot of effort to make it interesting, informative and find those cool projects that feature on our channel. Consider subscribing, leave a comment and we'll see you next week.